Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to make a game like Flappy Bird in Flash. So first let me just go ahead and show you how the game is going to look like. Okay. So first go ahead and add a new flash document and a new action script document so once you've done that save both of them make sure you save them onto same folder We can now save the action script file also. Now we want to link this .fla file and .as file. So for doing that, go to properties. If you can't see properties in here, just Click Windows and here you can see properties. Just click on that. Now in the class text box, right main. By doing this, we are actually linking the .fla file and the .as file. So if you forget to do this, the game is not going to work. So now we have our .fla file and .as file ready. So we can start making our bird. So I'm going to be really lazy and I'm just going to draw a circle. Make its height with 30 by 30. Okay, now right click on that and select convert to symbol. Make sure it's a movie clip, name it as player, where P should be in uppercase. And one more thing, make sure that you check the export for action script checkbox. Now we have a bird symbol ready, so we can just delete it off the stage and it will be there in the library. So now let's go and make the bytes. So just make a rectangle. So one thing you want to make sure is that the height must be a large value. Now make a copy of it. Make a gap between both pipes. Now go ahead and convert it into a symbol. Make sure to name it as obstacle and make sure it's a movie clip and the registration point is at the center. Finally, check export for action script. So now we just go ahead and delete 
delete it from the stage. Now select main.as and paste the code for main.as. I have explained most of the code by using comments. So basically we are just creating a player and adding the player onto the center of the stage. And after adding it to the center of the stage, we are applying gravity to it so it falls down. We are also allowing it to jump when the, when the space key is pressed. Okay, then we are creating obstacles. So we are actually creating three obstacles and when one obstacle reaches the left of the stage, its position is changed back onto the right of the stage so it keeps coming back. This function is responsible for doing that. It changes the position of the obstacle such that it will be the last obstacle and it also randomizes its Y position. And this is a function that creates an obstacle. Every time when an obstacle is created, its Y position will be random. So So that's it with code, nothing pretty hard and everything is explained by using comments. If you have any doubt just leave a comment below. So now let's just go ahead and test our code. There's one thing that I forgot. We had to add a text for displaying scope. Okay, make sure it's a dynamic text and give an instance name score text to it. Make sure to spell this right because otherwise the score is not going to get displayed over here. So now let's go ahead and test our game. Then you can see that our score is getting updated. So the game is actually working. Let's change the font so we can see the score clearly. So now let's test it. So there you go, it changes. If this video helped you, make sure to give a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe.